David summoned all the officials of Israel to assemble at Jerusalem, including officers over tribes, commanders of divisions, and officials in charge of property and livestock. King David had plans to build a house as a place of rest for the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, but God told him not to build it because he was a warrior and had shed blood. However, the Lord chose David from his whole family to be king over Israel forever, choosing Judah as leader and his family from Judah's tribe. The Lord chose Solomon to sit on the throne of the kingdom of the Lord over Israel. He instructed Solomon to follow all the commands of the Lord your God, possessing the good land and passing it on as an inheritance to his descendants forever. Solomon was to acknowledge the God of his father and serve him with wholehearted devotion and willing mind. David gave Solomon plans for the portico of the temple, its buildings, storerooms, upper parts, inner rooms, and the place of atonement. He also gave instructions for the divisions of priests and Levites, the work of serving in the temple, and the articles to be used in its service. The weight of gold and silver was designated for various types of service, such as gold lampstands, silver tables, forks, bowls, pitchers, dishes, and altars. David also gave Solomon the plan for the chariot, the cherubim of gold that spread their wings and overshadowed the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. He encouraged Solomon to be strong and courageous, not to be afraid or discouraged, and to obey his every command.